So in the last video, and you can watch that here if you haven't yet, I did an effect on the screen where I'm like looking at the computer and the computer is kind of looking back at me. The camera looks like it's inside the computer. I can't seem to find a tutorial on the internet about it. So I'm gonna teach you it today in this video. Make sure you stick around to the end because at some point I'll be telling you the secret to making this look as authentic and realistic as possible. And you don't wanna miss that. So stick around. Let's get it in Premiere Pro, hop right into it. It takes like 30 seconds. First and foremost, make sure you have a shot that looks like you're looking at the computer. So I put my camera in front of my computer and then just pointed it at me and just acted like I was watching it for like, you know, five minutes. And after that, you know, I recorded the screen and which is what I'm going to show you next. Dragged it into our timeline, get ready. And then I have a screen recording here and I'm going to choose that. So in point, out point, and all we're going to do is turn that back on first and foremost, click it, go to effect controls, under opacity, change the blend mode to screen. Already it's looking better, but because in real life, if I'm watching the TV or the monitor this way, and then the monitor is looking back at me, the camera will be inside the monitor, therefore seeing it on a flipped orientation. So we need to flip the footage to make it look like it's really coming from that perspective instead of our perspective. So horizontal flip, click and drag that onto the shot. Now it's flipped, it looks correct. And while we're already here, let's go back into our effects and type in lens distortion, click and drag that onto it. Now go back to effect controls, scroll down, curvature under lens distortion. We wanna to bring to like a negative 32 is what I'm gonna go with. It looks good on this type of shot. Again, we can scan through here, looking pretty good. However, I also think that it might be a little bit too opaque still. So let's go ahead and change our opacity to like 75. And I think that's uh, that's better. It's a little less intense on the screen. Maybe even 70 will be just fine. And remember that secret part I brought up about two minutes ago? Well, this is it right now. To make it look as good as it can, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way I do it now because I am partnered with Motion Array. And with that Motion Array subscription, you do get a lot of cool effects like the one I'm about to show you. So if you go to a video effects after you have it, scroll down to grunge, and then scroll and go on scan lines, click and drag that on there. You can automatically see, you know, you have lines that go across it. It looks pretty good. Now this is reminiscent of a like CRT TV, which is a video we made a few weeks back and you can click it here. Maybe that was like two months ago. Then if I change the preset that they give you to light, it really helps. Like if you look at the edges here, especially it helps sell that slightly more realistic looking screen perspective, at least in my opinion, but really that's it. You flip it, you change the blend mode, and you throw in that little effect at the end and, and you have this footage like this that you watch back and it looks like you're actually watching it from the computer's perspective and it looks nice. And honestly, I think it's a great storytelling technique. It helps a little bit, not too much, but it's a nice little, you know, flare piece if you would to add to your next project. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And again, Motion Ray in the description, you can get $50 off a annual subscription, I think it is. This is not an ad. They didn't pay me to make this video. They just gave me the subscription and I use it. So I figured, hell, might as well share it with you guys. That being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.